The Butterfly's Ball by William Roscoe. Come, take up your hats and away let us haste to the butterfly's ball and the grasshopper's feast. The trumpeter gadfly has summoned the crew and the revels are now only waiting for you. So said little Robert and pacing along, his merry companions come forth in a throng and on the smooth grass by the side of the wood beneath a broad oak that for ages has stood. So the children of earth and the tenants of air for an evening's amusement together repair. And there came the beetle, so blind and so black, who carried the emmet, his friend on his back. And there was the gnat and the dragonfly too, with all their relations, green, orange, and blue. And there came the moth with his plumage of down and the hornet in jacket of yellow and brown, who with him the wasp his companion did bring, they promised that evening to lay by their sting. And the sly little dormouse crept out of his hole and brought to the feast his blind brother the mole. And the snail with his horns peeping out from his shell came from a great distance the length of an L. A mushroom their table and on it was laid a water dock leaf which a tablecloth made. The viands were various to each of their taste and the bee brought her honey to crown the repast. Then close on his haunches, so solemn and wise, the frog from a corner looked up to the skies and the squirrel, well pleased, such diversions to see, mounted high overhead and looked down from a tree. Then out came a spider with fingers so fine to show his dexterity on the tight line. From one branch to another his cobwebs he slung. They quick as an arrow he darted along. But just in the middle, oh shocking to tell, from his rope in an instant poor Harlequin <gasps> fell. Yet he touched not the ground, but with talons outspread, hung suspended in air at the end of a thread. Then the grasshopper came with a jerk and a spring. Very long was his leg, though but short was his wing. He took but three leaps and was soon out of sight. Then chirped his own praises, ha <laughs> ha, the rest of the night. With steps so majestic, the snail did advance and promised the gazers a minuet to dance. But they all laughed so loud that he pulled in his head and went to his own little chamber to bed. Then as evening gave way to the shadows of night, their watchman, the glowworm, came out with a light. Then home let us hasten, while yet we can see. For no watchman is waiting for you and for me. So said little Robert, and pacing along, his merry companions returned in a throng. <laughs>